Alright, a good example of an index sequential file organization is actually the index in a textbook. Let's say this is our IT textbook. Let's say we wanted to find the word, the phrase or word file organization. The fastest way to find that would be to go to the index, the book index, right? So we would go to the index and what would we know where to look? We'll realize that the index is in alphabetical order. So therefore, that's the sequential part of it. So it is organized in a specific order. So that gives us the sequential part of it. And we are looking for file organization. And there we go. We have found the file organization. So that is under F. See, the, word, the letters, the words here all begin with F. On this page on this section we have D and so forth so we find file organization and then we are directed to or we're given the pages on which file organization can be found so all of these page numbers here would refer or information would be there on file organization now the page numbers you notice that these page numbers or one fifth they're not in any specific order so this is the index part of it or well really it's a combination of both but the page number now is not in any specific order because index sequential is actually a combination of direct file organization and a sequential file organization so we put them together and we get index sequential file ordering now just one more example let's say we wanted to find address we want to find all occurrence of the word address in our textbook so we know we'll have to go to a so there it is access time is actually the first phrase that is their address and we have some page numbers for where address or information pertaining to computer address are located and then and again they are not that page numbers are not necessarily in any particular order so this is a perfect example of index sequential now the idea is as i wrote on this paper here is that the index part of it is for the book example would be the alphabet so the information is organized in a specific order that is alphabetized and then we have the page numbers which would give us the index part of it so this now creates index sequential file organization so in an index sequential file organization there are two important pieces of information the index or the key and also the address of where the data is located so you see key address and that maps to data